What is going on guys, it's Bro coming to you once again with some 3D anatomy, courtesy of anatomylearning.com, please visit their website. So last time we wrapped up the muscles of the pelvis, now we're going to start working on the muscles of the thigh, starting with the anterior thigh. There are going to be six muscles in this group. The first two are the tensor fasciae latae and the sartorius, followed by the vastus medialis, the vastus lateralis, the rectus femoris, and though you can't see it here, there's one underneath the rectus femoris called the vastus intermedialis. So the first three muscles we're going to look at are the vastus muscles. So just get that in your head, vastus, vastus. There's three of them, vastus, vastus, vastus. And they're pretty easy to memorize because they're based upon location. The second word is based upon location. So there's the vastus lateralis and the vastus medialis, first of all. And in the front, there's the vastus intermedialis. So when it comes to the origin of these muscles, you can just sort of remember that they originate a little bit below the head of the femur. The lateralis and medialis sort of hug along the linear aspera and uh, all three of them sort of originate on different sides of the bone, lateral, medial, and the anterior right below the head of the femur. The rectus femoris sits over the intermedialis and it originates at the can you tell what this is can you tell what that origin is it's the anterior inferior iliac spine the rectus femoris originates uniquely on the anterior inferior iliac spine the other ones originate on the femur the medialis, the lateralis, and the intermedialis, they all originate on the femur, but the rectus femoris originates on the anterior inferior iliac spine. Now the easiest part of this to remember is the insertion point, because the insertion point for all four of these muscles is the same. It's actually going to be the tibial tuberosity and I know that sounds weird because looking at this it kind of looks like it inserts in the patella and that's actually technically correct but there's a ligament on the patella the patella ligament that attaches to the tibial tuberosity and that sort of carries the tension of these four muscles down so effectively they all insert on the tibial tuberosity and it's important to consider the attachment point, the tibial tuberosity, because that fact produces important consequences on the movement of these muscles. Since the attachment point is ultimately going to be the tibia, we're going to see the influence on these muscles carrying down to the lower leg. So now let's talk about the other two components of these anterior thigh muscles. We talked about the three vastus muscles and the rectus femoris. Let's talk about the tensor fascia lata and the sartorius muscle. That's the tensor fascia lata and the sartorius muscles. So you see for the most part they originate at similar points on the pelvis, mostly the anterior superior iliac spine as opposed to the rectus femoris which originates at the anterior inferior iliac spine. These two muscles originate at the anterior superior iliac spine. The tensor fascia lata hugs along the iliac crest a little bit but it does also hug along the anterior superior iliac spine. The sartorius appears to insert a bit medial to the tibial tuberosity. Inferior to what what do what is that called? Do you remember? The medial tibial condyle. The medial tibial condyle. Inferior to that and medial to the tibial tuberosity. As for the tensor fascia lata, it actually inserts along something called the iliotibial tract, a thickened portion of connective tissue that exists 
along the thigh called the fascia lata. All you really need to know for our purposes right now is that the iliotibial tract is continuous along the lateral side of the femur all the way down to the tibia and it is the insertion point for both a tensor fascia latae and also the gluteus maximus actually sort of wrapping down along the gluteal tuberosity down the linear aspera inserting onto the tensor fascia lata. Now as for the action of all of these muscles it's actually relatively straightforward if you understand and keep in mind that the insertion point of all these muscles is pretty much on the tibia. Now recognizing that this is in fact a hinge joint, we're going to see that the primary, the common primary function for all the anterior muscles is going to be extension of the knee.